Hello, my name is Wang Chen from the Department of Electrical Engineering. I joined CTU in 2018, and my research focuses on the area of integrated photonics. To me, the most fascinating thing about electrical engineering is its broad range of research directions, covering the whole spectrum from software, hardware, to material science and physics. This provides us a wonderful environment for sparking new ideas and conducting highly multidisciplinary research. In my lab, we develop advanced nanofabrication technologies and use them to make optical components smaller and better performing. I personally enjoy working in this area a lot since it requires an integration of knowledge from a variety of disciplines. Throughout the years, I also had the privilege to work with people from all kinds of background. In my lab, we have students from electrical engineering, optics, material sciences, biomedical engineering, and physics. Using advanced nanofabrication facilities at EE department, we shrink down the size of photonic devices and print them onto tiny photonic chips. In a way, this is similar to how electronic devices are printed on IC chips. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of our fabricated photonic chip, integrated with more than 50 devices and a traditional optical modulator. This device is responsible for converting electrical signals to optical signals in optical fiber networks. Our photonic chip is not only much smaller and cost-effective, but at the same time transmits three times more data with 10 times less energy consumption. Since joining CTU, I have received a number of important research grants from both mainland and Hong Kong governments, as well as the Quattro Innovation Award. These fundings, together with the infrastructure support from CTU, will allow us to further push the performance of our integrated photonic devices. We expect these devices to address the urgent power consumption issue in modern data centers, which currently consume about 3% of total human electricity and is expected to double every four years. Apart from the optical fiber networks, we are also developing high-performance photonic devices for 5G sensing and quantum applications.